Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about how Apex Legends has evolved and how they're going to continue to go ahead and change it more from the original Battle Royale that we all fell in love with, and whether or not that is truly a good thing. As a lot of players, you know, are happy with some stuff, but also like enemy health bars. Not people are not really a fan of that. And we're also going to go ahead and give out a Pathfinder Prestige skin. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. You might actually remember this. I've talked about it a couple times in my videos. Back on June 10th of this year, about two months ago, I said that I heard from a couple of sources that Apex Legends is testing the kid weapons and solos when it released as a future feature in Battle Royale. They've done the same with Evo, LTM, and shield changes, and then I asked if it was good or not. And now it looks like other people are coming out of the woodwork and leaking it as well, saying that they have also heard about it. There's been everyone from Oz, Hypermist, and Yorozasuki was the first one after me that went ahead and talked about it. And this is the way that it basically breaks down. You remove the ground weapon spawns, you can choose your weapon combination at the start, your weapons will improve as the ring level increases up to level 4, and you can change your weapon combination at designated locations during the game. This is pretty interesting, I'm gonna be honest, this is basically taking the loadouts you find in mixtape and then putting it in Battle Royale. And I don't know if I actually like this change, because it kind of takes the randomness out of Battle Royale. I am totally for finding weapons that are fully kitted on the ground, but starting off with a fully kitted weapon or, you know, just the weapon that you want closes the skill gap a little bit, but also just removes kind of the randomness of Battle Royale. This isn't that surprising as Andrew Wilson did say like a season or two ago, that the next phase will be then how do we think about more modalities of play? How do you expand beyond the traditional Battle Royale universe? And we'll start to see that in the coming year. This could end up being a really good change or a really bad change. It's obvious that Respawn is changing a ton of new things. We got the new health bar system in the game. And while I do think the health bar system would be great for public lobbies, I don't still think it's that great for ranked competitive play. And once again, with the fully kitted weapons, I'm not sure if that's a great thing for rank. We just had straight shot revival and they're making even more changes where in that LTM, you actually don't have a drop ship. And once again, that might be something that they are thinking about doing in the future of ranked or public lobbies in general apex. As in ALGS, they don't do the drop ship now anymore more either. And again, I just don't know how I'm going to like this new version of Apex Legends as it moves away from what I fell in love with with the Battle Royale, and it's cool that they're trying new things, but they should still have the old systems in place for people that just, you know, enjoy a traditional Battle Royale. There was also one other thing that Yoro Tsuki leaked, and it's a Legend Weapon perk system. Legends get some bonuses when using certain weapons, like Rampart and Maggie. We know that with the LMGs and the shotguns. The bonuses are generally fast reload ADS, larger magazine, and more. Legends will receive this bonus when using a weapon that has been unlocked from a specific list. When a legend reaches the maximum level, you can use other legends to use the bonuses. This is pretty interesting. I actually do think legend perks were one of the best things added into Apex Legends. I think it's a really new fun way to do buffs and nerfs for characters and kind of grind out in the middle of a match. And I will be interested to see how it works with weapons going forward in the future and not just legend. However, along with that, there is some new features in the game that unfortunately aren't working as intended. And that is the new health far over players which is something that has changed the meta directly because now you can go ahead and actually see the enemy health bar as long as you have line of sight unfortunately though it's broken a few characters let's go ahead and play this clip of bangalore right here so as you can see with the bangalore smoke unfortunately the health bar shows through which is a major nerf for bangalore and kind of actually nullifies her smoke completely all you have to do is get one lucky shot while they're cowering in the smoke and it's no longer effective whatsoever. However, Bangalore isn't the only one. Mirage as well has received a huge nerf with this, and I'm hoping the devs go ahead and fix this, but let's play the clip of Mirage right here. So as you can see, Mirage can pop his ultimate, and unfortunately, if you get tagged once, it lets you know all the other decoys are fake and, well, where the real one is. Now, I can't imagine this is something developers actually intended as it ruins the kit of those two characters. So I do imagine that this is going to be fixed fairly soon and it definitely needs to be done so. But overall, the Legend meta hasn't changed that much this season. It's all about weapons. But with everything else that we also mentioned, there was a huge change this season with the flinch being removed. And we'll go ahead and play this clip right here because it has changed how gunfights are being taken.
So as you can see, you can actually react a lot quicker now that Flinch is gone. Whether or not this will be a good change overall has yet to be seen yet, along with the aim assist nerf. There's a ton of changes coming in this season, and there's going to be more coming in the near future as we get more and different types of game modes. So just be prepared as you go on this season, you're going to have to adapt and play completely differently than you had the last couple. We're going to go ahead and jump into community clips right now. Don't forget to follow me on Thornton Smash on Twitter if you guys want to go ahead and upload any of your gameplay clips and see them in the video. And don't forget to let me know down below, do you guys like the direction Apex is going with all these changes, or would you rather it go back to a more OG version, which we've talked about is rumored to be coming in the near future. But without further ado, let's roll the clips. Below. Are you guys happy with the direction that Apex Legends has been going in, moving outside of the traditional battle royale, or do you actually just prefer to stay the way that it originally was? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying the aliens. I'll see you out there. <laughs>